large language models are an artificial intelligence algorithms which are trained on huge amount of data and they are adept at producing coherent text images audio video and certain other modalities large language models or llm in short are really huge in size and require a lot of computing power and storage space. When deploying these large language models, you need to be sure that what sort of instance you need or server you need, especially if you're working in the cloud. In the future, what I see is that not a lot of companies or even individuals would be deploying these large language models in the cloud because it's not really feasible or possible to for everyone to purchase these beefy systems so cloud seems to be the natural place and there are a lot of clouds out there now when you go to a cloud and you need to deploy a large language model how do you determine which sort of server you need in the cloud and how you can save money because as you might know, cloud's honeymoon period is also over and every company is looking to save cost. You cannot simply go in and churn up the most beefy system out there. Every cloud provider, including AWS, GCP, Cloudflare, um, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, and a lot of other cloud providers, all of them are dishing out servers with GPU and acceleration enabled. SkyPilot is a project for running large language models in the cloud in a cost-effective way in very simple words. So not only you can run your large language model, but you can also run your inference data training and a lot of other AI and batch jobs in the cloud. And it is not just cloud, you can even run it in the Kubernetes. But if you're running it in the Kubernetes, I would highly suggest that you use any cloud managed Kubernetes service such as AWS EKS or GCP, GKE, and a lot of others are there. Now, in order to install SkyPilot, the steps are quite simple. And let me show you how you can do that easily. For this demo, I'm using Amazon Linux 2 in AWS, and I have already spun up a G5.x large EC2 instance which has one GPU. In order to install this SkyPilot in Linux, you, all you need to do is to run the pip command, pip install SkyPilot, and if you want to install it on GCP, you all you need to do is to just put in scare brackets with GCP, and then similarly for rest of the cloud, and you can see the configuration in their documentation, and I will drop the link in video description. So just run it, pip install SkyPilot, and it should start installing fairly rapidly, and it's a very quick process. Let's wait for it to finish. SkyPilot is installed successfully. Let me clear this screen. And in order to check that everything is all right, just type SkyCheck. And this is going to check the Sky installation, plus it is also going to check if your AWS credentials are set properly. So let's wait for it to finish. So that's done. It has not only checked it for AWS, but also for other clouds. We can hopefully restrict it to AWS, but that is fine. Okay, now let me clear the screen. Whatever you run in SkyPilot is considered as task. Let me show you an example of task. Let's quickly create a directory to store our tasks. I'm just calling it hello sky from their example provided in their documentation. Let's cd to this directory. And now let me create a file called as hello underscore sky.yaml and then let me show you how you can perform the task. So this is the file I have created. What is happening in this one is that we are specifying resources. This is our cloud. By default, it also takes AWS as the cloud, but you can specify GCP or whatever. And then I'm telling it what sort of GPU I want, V100. And then what would be my working directory, which is a current directory with the dot. And then I'm simply 
uh, invoking running setup and then printing out the pilot. And then if um, Conda environment list, I don't have it. So maybe I'll just keep it. I don't need it. So WQ. And then um, all I need to do is to run this command. Sky launch dash C my cluster hello underscore sky dot yaml. So what would what this would do is this would um, select an appropriate cloud and virtual machine or EC2 instance error case based on the specified resource constraint. So uh, if you remember, we had only specified V100 GPU, so it will go in and select one any EC2 instance in AWS with one V100 GPU. And then it will provision this cluster on that cloud consisting of that instance. It will sync up our working directory. It will execute the setup and then it will execute the run command. So this is all it is going to do. So you don't have to worry about um, searching for what EC2 instance you need to use or if in case of Google Cloud, what virtual machine you need to use. Also, another cool thing is that that it is going to select the cheapest option available, saving you the cost. You can also configure it with the spot instances. Now, let me show you one example of SkyPilot where you can deploy this uh, Mistral.ai or Mistral 7 billion model with SkyPilot. So you can see that this is our configuration file in YAML. All we are doing it, we are setting up this environment variable with model name. We are telling it to run it in the AWS cloud, only take um, EC2 instance with one GPU and 810G. This should be the port and then all we are doing it, we are running a Docker container on it with some of the port mapping. We are passing it model name and we are passing it some of the tensor parameters. And once that's done, similar command sky launch cluster name with the YAML file and then which region of AWS you want it to run. And that's about it. Um, so this is how you can run the sky pilot in any of the cloud and it will relieve you from worrying about what sort of instances you need or want. I hope that you found it interesting. If you're already using it, please share your experience. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.